previously on T Man 978 Chill Review. And now he's Devastator's right leg. And there you have Devastator's left leg. So you gotta pick that back. And now he's ready to form Devastator's lower torso and upper legs or thighs, I mean. And there you have Devastator's upper torso. Port. And now we have his left arm. And that's that. He's the right arm for Devastator. Now we conclude the Combiner Wars Constructicons and Devastator chill review. So everybody's in place, let's combine this sucker. Looking at these thin little pieces of plastic, it looks like he's not gonna be secure, but he actually pegs together right here, here, there, and right there might help if I focus but anyway let's start with scrapper and this peg right here slots into this section right here that's what you want to do first so slot that together and then go ahead and start pushing this underneath of the knee and pegging that forward and believe it or not it's a tight fit and it's nice and secure do the same thing over here Slot this part out at the bottom, and then go ahead and groove this into place, and put the peg this one into place. Nice and tight and good. Now for the upper torso, which is the toughest, you need to peg this into here, this into here, this into a hole back there, and these into a slit here and another slit there which you probably can't see because I can barely see it <laughs> but I noticed that the visuals come out better when I actually look at the videos on my TV later but anyway go ahead and push this and that in first and then try to wedge these shoulder joints into those upper slots right that I showed you try to line all that up and then give it a good shove and there you go with that. The shoulder pegs, which I didn't show off in Hook's Transformation, you pull this one out right there, and you lift this up and rotate this one out. Bring that back down. Now this part is probably the easiest, because all you gotta do is wiggle this out the way and shove that in. Boom. Come around to the back. Let me try to get this on camera. Move the arm out the way and peg the tread into Long Haul's arm right there. Then we can bring that back down. Come over to this side. Same deal. Go ahead and move this tread out the way a bit. Peg this into place. Okay. <laughs> Why is this not going in? What the heck? <sighs> I swear they know. They know when you are filming. What in the world? Okay, now that's in there. Same deal. Peg this tread into the back of Long Haul's arm right there. Bring that down out the way. And now for another tough part. The easiest way to do this is probably take the double barrel blaster as I've been calling it. This peg goes into this hole right there and these clamp around the long hole right there. So peg this into place at the top. And try, we'll try to put it in the place anyway. Okay, it's in there. This is the easiest way to do this. Now take the wing, groove it into here. It's two pegs right here that actually grip into the treads. Shove them into place. Now we do the same thing over here. Peg this in. 
right here and put the pegs in the tread ah and now wait this isn't pegging come on the shield also pegs in right here and that's it this came loose a little bit but basically now we have a full gigantic devastator take his gun pieces put them together and here's the handle you don't have to open the fingers just put it into his hand and now we have Devastator fully hand, fully combined and fully armed and he is gigantic and he's also beautiful here is Devastator next to a Voyager class and a leader class figure and as you can see he is humongous now I have another full video with my first Devastator review has way more comparisons you can go ahead and I guess about mm, 40 50 minutes in I start to give give you some other comparisons that you can go over there and look at let's start getting into his articulation his head rotates 360 you don't really need to do that because a real person couldn't twist their head all the way around and I imagine if he had circuitry and wires he wouldn't be able to do that either the arm articulation which people don't like because normally on the old G1 and cartoon devastators treads were actually part of the arm and this is like really thin looking right there but he has his arms can rotate out like this 360 right there the joint can hinge in right here. Here's an elbow joint and elbow swivel. The elbow bends a little less than 90 degrees. The fingers can open up. Every time you open up the fingers and close them, this little handle comes out, which is unfortunate. And the wrists rotate. It's really, really tight, like I said. And it'll try to pop off of that joint right there this arm is the same except he has rotation outward this way and every time you do it this bends right there and the el elbow joint over here is a bit loose I'm on a mushroom peg so yeah that sucks I'm gonna have to try to floor polish I just bought waist he can bend about that much actually you can Go 360 if you move. No, no, you can't. He can twist really good. Even with long hauls, dump chuck all the way pegged in. Which is neat. The hips. If you move this flap out, he can kick forward about that much. He can kick all the way out. <laughs> He doesn't hold that gun really good, it just dropped it. He has this annoying joint right here that likes to kick out, but I guess if you want to keep the crotch plate down, you can use that as an option. He has swivel right there at the hips. His knees bend more than 90 degrees on the left leg, but on the right leg, it's a little less before it starts bumping right there and then one of the most awesome things ankle pivot and once again I forgot to mention that you have to rotate the cab on scrapper to lock his leg into place right here if you don't it'll just he'll have a, another knee joint above his ankle but his ankle pivot can bend in let's see one two clicks over here and 
one, two, three, four, uh, three over here. So, I typically never have them standing straight up. Because that looks ugly and boring. But, man. This guy is very impressive to me. Very, very, very impressive. I mean, he looks so G1. His combined mode is definitely, definitely masterpiece quality. All those third parties cannot compare to this at all because this is devastator. They are somebody else's rendition of what they think devastator should look like. But this is definitely G1 devastator. He's awesome. Let me show you what he looks like from the back. A lot of people complain about this, but the G1 toy had that. I, I, I don't know. A good reason to complain is seeing his butt flap right there, which you normally wouldn't see on the G1 toy. That is a bit ugly. And back here you have two robot guys, but who cares? From the front, he is awesome. I can't take away points for that. Soundwave says he's superior, but Devastator is definitely superior to all the other Combiner Wars combiners. Like, he's way more stable, way more sturdy, way more poseable. Just. He blows them out of the water, basically. Here's this right here. I didn't compare him to Masterpiece Optimus last time. But keep in mind, Devastator is bending over a little bit in this pose. But, of course, he still towers over him. At the end of the day, I'm very satisfied with this toy. I know they're coming out with upgrade kits and whatnot. But if I never buy any of them, because I am a little bit cheap... <laughs> I don't like paying extra for a toy that I already own. I plan on getting them, but if something comes up and I can't get it, I, I won't feel sad about it because I'm satisfied with this toy, especially in his Devastator mode. The individual Constructicons have their issues and Hasbro cut a lot of corners, but the combined mode is great. It's awesome. And I completely recommend it. This has been T-Man978. Thanks for watching this video and all the other Constructicon individual videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for sharing the other videos. Thank you for sharing just the whole playlist if you want to. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, T-Man978. Out of here.